hello friends i hope you are all doing good so welcome back to my another video so please like subscribe and also press the bell icon so that whenever i post a new video you will get a notification yeah today's video is about you know one of the undervalued stock uh, for a long term investment so it is actually mahindra logistics so i am going to give you details about uh, why i am more convinced uh, it's undervalued and i will also give you the reasons why it can you know create a uh, wealth in a long term as i was you know i am actually a long term investor i don't do trading and other things so whatever the business i'm going to identify actually it is uh, for a long term at least minimum or mi minimum period of 3 years to 5 years time so we should keep holding them so let's start so mahindra logistics as the name says it is logistic related things they are doing uh so these are all the you know few of the subsidiaries i don't know whether you already uh, any time uh, heard these names uh, but just to give you an uh, information uh, so you can you can see this meru cap so this is already you know you must definitely uh, would have heard this name because this is giving you know mobility services uh, mainly to the you know corporate offices as well as from the airport to airport uh, usually in all big cities it is there so other than that i'm not sure whether you have seen any of the names but these are all actually uh, new companies are the companies which are acquired by mahindra logistics so actually it is doing lot of you know inorganic growth by acquiring lot of uh, companies related to uh, logistics uh, and transportation uh, related companies you know usually in uh, india uh, there are mainly i think i have also worked in you know earlier also in few of the you know manufacturing and uh, uh, manufacturing companies including the steel industry as well as uh, some you know uh, this electrical uh, panels industry so we, we had struggled actually even in the warehouse management you know so what it used to happen we used to store the products in different bins and different racks so there was no mechanism you know earlier uh, that why when 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 the order comes so we always used to struggle to find you know you need to go to different racks to find out and open it and find it we used we needed you know almost like 10 to 20% just to pick the orders that kind of complexity was there so because because of this kind of complexity reducing these so there are a lot of new technology has come i think even uh, robotics and other things being used so mahindra logistics into you know becoming from inorganic sector to organic structure uh, organic uh, way you know uh, because of that i think there is a lot of uh, scope you would have seen you know in india roads are becoming better and better as well as you know government also trying to do lot of things even for the i don't know whether you have seen just few few days back there was an announcement made by the government of india all the trucks which are manufactured now onwards should have ac cabin for the drivers so these are small steps which are being taken so what as i said before it, it's becoming you know organized so whoever is you know in the companies whoever in this business now so they are going to create a long term wealth as per my understanding you know uh, so anyway let's come back now so what what uh, mahindra logistics does is mainly these four things you know uh contract logistics that means they've got a warehouse warehousing and also it provides the transportation and also it will store store the products and also it will do you no know, vast services value added services for example if something has to be printed on a t-shirt or something and any other you know, it has to be repacked and it has to be packed again these kind of services and b2b express is mainly you know this revigo business where uh, i will also show in the next slides there are a lot of you know uh, business to business companies uh, where mahindra logistics actually has got a tie up you know flipkart uh, and, and other companies so it, it's actually working on this uh, transportation business so apart from this there is also last mile delivery as you can see you know this is mainly for the e-com players you know flipkart as i said so it's actually delivering the products in the last mile delivery you know from the warehouse of the you know flipkart or somewhere so the, the, there is a small uh, you know uh, you can see here this is called you know auto or tuk tuk whatever you call so this is one of the brand you know edel as well as wizard i think these two are mainly into you know last mile delivery uh, companies which actually mahindra has acquired so currently actually mahindra logistics is actually 
it's in a acquiring phase or in a growth phase you know it's not at you know turn profitable as of now but definitely over the time uh, the turnaround happens so we'll also show in the next slides what what exactly mahindra's you know vision and other things in that you can see but anyway just to come back here last mile delivery uh, is one of the business but also freight forwarding you know it doesn't matter you know cross border it doesn't matter whether it is a air or c so mahindra logistics is fully involved here so here actually in terms of mobility you know as i said earlier i think uh, that the brand is meru so here you can also see this employee transportation is being done airport services outstation bookings and on call services these are all the things so as i said b2b uh, business so you can see the brand names here you know so all of the brands which mahindra logistics is servicing it's really uh, all the branded companies you know itc in case of you can see the uh, the industry here auto and auto parts mercedes benz volkswagen maruti hero and all these companies fmcg you know these are all the all the branded all the great companies in that you know industry uh, industrial and engineering as well you can see here bosch g e-commerce as i said zomato flipkart amazon mintra and all these companies and mobility as i said wipro they have got a tie up with wipro hcl alliance uh, and airtel to you know give the services to them and uh, in the in terms of you know cost uh, uh, contract logistics so you know what kind of services they give you know uh, they 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 use the you know uh, space utilization so as you can see they have got a very good track and other things high productivity as well as you know uh, full inventory visibility any time you know where exactly is this one like that so vast as i said is is repacking kitting labeling and co packing and other things and you know here in the transportation they give end to end you know uh, service uh, so you can see here uh, tms enabled load consolidation i mean you, you need to pack it you know based on different rules one is you know uh, if if the first place uh, uh, if if the, if the truck is going whoever comes first the task to be at the end similarly you know you need to balance the loading as well if if, if you load everything all the heavy items in the back so it will, it can i think the truck itself will have a, you know possibility of accident similarly it could also damage and all these things this consolidation they have got you know uh, cost optimization optimization they do so that they don't open the front part and uh, load it back again this kind of you know cost optimization they are doing uh, they, they they are doing and also visibility you know so you can any time you can track it you know whenever uh, Uh, there is a truck coming usually i, I was working in steel industry so there was there used to be some uh, some steel which supposed to be delivered to toyota and all for example in bangalore so the the people usually i was working for bush and steel in steel is supposed to come from saibabad in up you know from there the the person used to say so oh, it's coming 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 you never call him that uh, unorganized you know i don't want to name the companies but they were all small companies so they were never having you know this uh, tracking and other things you we will never be able to you know uh, say to the customer uh, and we, we used to commit customer by next uh, monday it will be there but it never it to, used to come at right time we always used to get scolding from the customer it was it was always you know neck to neck uh, uh, problems for us so but in case of mahindra logistics you can see here they have got a, a traceability and tracking is really good as well as sla adherence adherence you know if they say 15 days it will be there it will be dead there actually since there is also tracking if there is any you know accident or something you are already know okay something happens like that so yeah the as i said it's here it's organized it, it's actually they will take care of the safety for uh, safety uh, first and also they will all do the you know statutory compliance any legal and other things that they will take care and also here you can see this is they going to give integrated full solution uh, yeah i don't want to you know discuss fully the business but this is what you know in a nutshell so actually mahindra logistics is acquiring lot of you know unorganized uh, small players and it's 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 in a good it's currently in a you know you know kick off phase or a growth phase so they are acquiring 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 and also they are building their own you know business properly so so that you know it it can become a sound organized good player in india if you if you see in india there are only couple of players which i'll also show you in the next uh, uh, slides when i'm when i explaining the peer comparison let's come to you know uh, financials so as i said actually uh this is the main business you know contract logistics currently is you know main business almost like 1090 crores it's doing and revigo business actually this is 
small business 87 crores and also freight forwarding also small business 53 crores and uh, you know last mile delivery this e-commerce related thing also small business and mobility also win very small business 85 as you can see here so these are all small small players just they are acquiring and they're trying to build but currently they are not contributing much to the revenue so mainly uh, thing is here you know uh, logistics as, I, as you can see also the margin is also good as of now 11.5 percent as of now yeah and uh, this is you know one of the uh, uh, financials or uh, the shares related details so market cap is currently only 2700 uh, crores so this is it comes under you know micro cap or a small cap company so that's why I mean you need to identify these kind of companies which have got a huge visibility in the future you know if you see now 2773 crores this is nothing actually for the kind of uh, uh, management quality and the, from the this is from a Mahindra group you know Mahindra Mahindra how they are building you know? so current price is actually 385 so you can see here low and high it's actually you know oscillating between 350 to 500 mainly because actually currently it is a it is actually uh, making loss so because they are acquiring and they are not able to do a turnaround actually so in spite of that actually they are also uh, giving the you know dividend of 0.65 percent promoter holding is really good and uh, debt equity actually this is not so correct uh, because whatever the you know depth they've got it's only short term loans they got i think that is anyway manageable i i would say this is zero uh, debt company but there is a small uh, debt which you can ignore and face value is 10 this is good thing and very very beautiful thing is you know 7.2 crores uh, of number of shares so this is very 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 good you know if for example if Mahindra Logistics wants to raise some money uh, they can dilute another 10 crores you know 10 crores into 385 it's almost like 3800 crores they will get as simple as that you know so and also because of the name of this company anybody i mean the new investors will come so the good thing is they are not diluted any shares so it's just seven crores you can think of out of that already you know 758 percent is with the promoters and other i think almost like 25 uh, percent with uh, you know uh, fis and dis so the balance is only 15 percent with the uh, public as soon as you know it this turnarounds and start giving the profit so the public uh, shareholder will keep on going uh, here another thing is market to sales this is very good i think this is where i'm saying uh, you know it's undervalued let me explain you in the next slide maybe so, so in terms of revenue as you can see uh, this is yearly revenue so it is keep on growing you know so currently they are making a revenue of 5260 crores you can think of you know they are making this much crores sales but the market cap is just 2700 market cap is nothing but number of shares into uh, current price you know this is market cap so that means this is still undervalued and net profit as i said you know so they are you know incurred losses uh, because it's turning around they acquired revigo maybe just one year back and also Meru and all these things they acquired but that business is actually uh, need some time to you know break even to integrate with mahindra logistics that's why it's making loss so as i said promo, promoter holding uh, it's 58 percent as you can see here it is actually from the group of mahindra and mahindra so there are no question related to you know promoters they are really high integrity they got high integrity and you know uh, there's no questions related to any corporate governance or integrity related issues so as i said fis and dis are owning this much currently public is just holding you know 15.27 uh, that is actually an, also an advantage so positives as i said very less equity 5.2 crores and promoter with high integrity face value is 10 you know so they can also do split they can also give bonus and other things and it is undervalued yeah vision as you can see here so they have they have uh, given a vision of you know having a 10000 crores uh, revenue by uh, 2026 now we are almost at the end of 2023 so 2024 25 26 in three years time the revenue will go to 10,000 crores so this is uh, you know vision of the uh, Mahindra logistics so now let me come back to here you know uh, let's let's compare uh, a few of the co competitors or peers you know 
so so container corporation currently actually it is trading at a uh, price of 859 it has got a market cap of 52000 crores but why i am um, more curious is you can see the sales annual revenue it's only 8000 but market is giving you know market uh, to sales value of 6.31 this is one of the highest anyway next one is tvs i would say this is also undervalued uh, it's trading at 0.85 but only thing is this is currently actually uh, just now it is you know listed that's why it is in the currently in the in, in the phase of you know uh, finding the or determining the price for itself so this is also undervalued if, if you want to get into this you know warehouse or logistics transportation industry all cargo also you can see this is also undervalued other than that if you see vrl logistics it's trading at 2.43 and transportation corporation this is also trading at 1.65 and tci express this is also trading at you know 4.18 market to sales and others you know gateway distribution this is also trading at four so as you can see all others are actually trading above you know uh, in an average of three if you see uh, this is having a maximum and you know transportation corporation is you know 1.65 so anyway tvs and others i don't know why these two are li little bit less so just to conclude, you know, if you if you just want to give you, you know, uh, uh, market to sales value of two, okay, let, let's try that, you know, uh, if you try to give, let's say 2026 will be 10,000 crores and try to give, uh, let's say, because this is from a reputed, reputed and uh, well, well management, well promoter even if you try to give you know three three times the sales okay so this will become 30,000 uh, divided by you know 7.2 sorry so you can see here so it has to trade at a value of 4,166 rupees should be the share price so currently it is 385 so it it should become you know 10 bagger so you are wondering or confused or you know <laughs> unbelievable kind of thing yeah you need to believe you know if the market gives that much let's say not three let's also think of you know uh, 10,000 into let's give a uh, you know a market to sales value of two you know this will become 20 divided by 7.77 so uh, is the price if you divide by for example the current price so it should be it, it still be you know seven times from now you know so what i mean to say with this calculation no and also you know anyway management has given a vision in their you know presentation already you know this is from the last presentation uh, even if you see the vision uh, in their very quarterly presentation what they're presenting they're presenting 10,000 let's not give 10,000 even if you give 8,000 uh, 8,000 uh, as the you know uh, revenue and even if you get the you know uh, sales of 1.5 are also market to sales value of 1.5 also so it should become three bagger you know it, it's kind of a what i want to say is so this is a no-brainer you know it this is definitely is going to be multi bagger only thing is you should have patience to hold and you should buy now so it's always in the market when when others are greedy you know you have to be careful and uh, if others are you know careful or if they, are, they don't care about some companies so that time you should you know buy so this is the you know simple uh, you know uh, simple mantra uh, i would say so you know i i would like to give you an example of what of an idea so two years back it was you know five rupees six rupees it was lying nobody wanted it so just i bought it around seven seven point five as my, is my average so currently you know the price is almost reached 16. same way you know if you are identifying you should always identify which is not in the market favorites uh, one thing and also you know which is undervalued you know you should try to check different criteria one one criteria is price to earnings ratio and also this is also you no know, market cap to sales uh, ratio is also one of them 
so anyway to come back you know this is as for me it is undervalued it should no brainer to become a three bagger or four bagger in three years time so let me just quickly you know uh, just go through they, they are also you know given in their uh, presentation how they want to create the value creation they want to do so you know <clears throat> here this turnaround as i said turnaround is happening uh, revigo business you know and they want to you know leverage this you know synergies between different core businesses and acquisitions uh, and also as i said you know they are currently in integration phase with the uh, main core business of mahindra logistics so margin expansion as i said in the core business they are having a margin of 11.5 as of now they want to you know they want to expand this as well yeah uh, this one they want to become leaders in contract logistics and have integrate integrated solutions customer service excellence and you know monetize investments they building you know digital platform and also they are having a very good partnership as i showed you the good brands you know so they have got really good partnership so what is important also here you know 18% roe they they are trying to achieve you know financial 26 so currently it's only 4% you can think of if it goes to 18% so definitely it will create a value it's a no brainer so at the last you know they, i also checked the you know price targets what are given by different uh, uh, companies so you know here icic direct has given you know target of 450 so which is actually kind of you know 7 17% from now so as i said the the result currently you know they're making a loss uh that's why actually it is you know market is not giving the uh you know market is not giving the price as you can see here there the, the the profit is not there as of now and also as you can see the margin you know the overall overall margin is 5% you can think of you know it's very very less so as the business as the, as the company is you now having a vision to expand this margin expansion so as soon as the margin expansion happens so, so it will turn around so i hope you like my you know analysis so def definitely this is a no brainer it's going to be multi bagger you know 3 to 4 bagger in 3 years time end of 2026 fingers crossed i mean uh, let's let's see what happens in 2026 if there are any new updates about mahindra logistics also i'll be keep giving even including the you know uh, uh, this quarterly result so keep you know please subscribe to my channel and yeah Uh, that's all for now thanks bye